Okay, so you've connected everything and it's now time to turn on the bike and you throw the switch and you don't see a light. Well, you probably didn't throw the circuit breaker or didn't plug in the battery all the way. So make sure you throw that circuit breaker over to the right. Now you should see a light. And your egg rider should turn on. Okay, so that checks. If the egg rider turns on, that means that your controller is also on when you turn the key. So that checks. But let's say you twist the throttle and you get nothing. You twist and the wheel does not spin. You probably have throttle failure. If you have a Segway throttle or the digital throttle, those are notorious for going out. We're going to show you how to diagnose that in this video. Uh, can I stress enough the importance of having a multimeter? If you don't have a multimeter, do not attempt to install the kit because you have to run some tests. You're going to be in a world of hurt when you're trying to figure something out and you don't have this to help you. So please make sure that you have a multimeter. First, we're going to remove the cover. We're gonna pull out the battery, disconnect the battery, throw the circuit breaker, We've removed the battery and now we're going to unscrew these two and pull this out gently. Move the screws and now we're going to remove the screws and pull this back. The screws that hold this in place are these two. One right on the right side and the other one on this side. We're gonna remove the screws. Oh. We've uh, pulled this back slightly and we're looking for the nine pin plug, which is this one right here. It's got nine pins. And we're gonna be gently, uh, gently uh, unplugging this plug. And then we're gonna test this plug to make sure that your throttle is getting voltage. Okay, now with the battery connected and the circuit breaker switched to the right, the screen is on. I know that the system is powered. I have the key on. I'm going to very carefully test the upper left pin on the nine pin connector and the upper rightmost pin on the nine pin connector. As you can see, I get five volts from those pins. Everything checks out. Your throttle is indeed uh, getting voltage. If this is clipped correctly and it snaps, you should be getting voltage to your throttle. And most likely your throttle has gone out and is no longer working. Actually, let's turn off the bike before we connect this. I have turned off the bike and I'm going to connect the 9 pin connector. It's a little difficult to connect. Kind of have to massage it a little bit, but it should click. There it goes. So now we need to test the throttle and see what the issue is. Now that uh, we've tested the that the controller is on and is providing 
5 volts. At the harness, 9 pin harness, we're going to check for power at the actual location where you connect the throttle or where the throttle is connected. So we're going to lower the bash guard. We're going to take this screw out of both sides and we're going to lower the bash guard and we're going to find the sack, the rubber sack where all the cables are connected. And I'm going to show you which particular connector um, we're going to unplug and test. The rubber boot that we're looking for, we're going to roll it up a little bit and we're going to look for the three pin throttle and it's this one right here this is the three pin throttle that we're looking for we're going to disconnect it we're going to check power at the source while the bike is on we're going to put our test probes and uh, test to see if we're getting power there a close-up shot of the connector. We're gonna test to see if there's power uh, coming out of this into your throttle. You're here, and I'm going to insert this lead into the ground of the battery, the negative terminal of the battery. This is the battery, and the ground terminal is the top. The bike is on. As you can see, the switch is turned to the right. The key switch is on. Now I've got my terminal here, my other Positive terminal. I'm going to test for five volts. I'm going to see if I can do this with one hand. All right, the pin that we're going to probe is the top left pin. So that top left corner pin, that is the one that we're going to probe with the multimeter lead. When I touch it, I get five volts. It's the top left pin. So that checks out. Display that it's on and everything. Uh, there's something wrong with your connections, but you should be able to get five volts out of that. And uh, in this test, we were able to do so. Now it's time to test the throttle. This is a Suran Segway throttle. This is the digital throttle. And we're gonna power it up and we're gonna test it. We're going to power it up according to the uh, picture you're going to see now on the screen. This is the positive, this is the ground, and this is a signal. Some 18 gauge wire, um, and uh, twisted it up and we're going to um, insert it. I've already done it here. I've inserted it like this. So as you can see, I've got five volts here, ground here, signal wire here. We'll put positive 5 volts here, ground here, and then we're going to test what kind of output voltage we're getting out of the green wire, which is the signal wire, to see if this throttle is actually working. I have a power supply here. I'm going to turn it on. And I have it at 5 volts. Now I'm going to connect my leads. Five volts, ground, and this is the, the uh, signal wire that we're gonna 
a test with our multimeter. So I have my multimeter here. I'm gonna put the positive here into this wire. And then I'm gonna put the ground lead of the multimeter right here. You can take this ground lead and put it on the black wire, the ground wire, or you can put it into the, uh, right here. To the ground right there. And I can see already this is broken. The throttle is supposed to be regi registering zero volts. As you can see, um, it's registering 5.7 volts. So it's in the wide open, actually above wide open. Most throttles go from uh, 0.8 volts to 4.2. This throttle is uh, reading 5.7. And if I twist it, I can guarantee you it's not gonna do anything is the surround throttle so it's not even moving it's supposed to be registering uh, 0.8 volts or sometimes 0.10 and then when I twist it it's supposed to go up to 4.2 and it's not doing anything so this is the problem this throttle these throttles you basically look at them uh, wrong and they and they go out To demonstrate my point of a proper functioning throttle, here I have a domino throttle. I have it wired up. Three wires, positive, ground, and signal, and I have my multimeter. And uh, I have my negative lead up on the power supply, providing five volts. I'm gonna show you what a throttle is supposed to do. So if I twist it, as you can see the voltage goes up. This one goes up to about 4.02 at wide open. I can twist it. Goes up. So this throttle is working. And that's how you test the throttle. If you have any questions, uh, shoot us an email at uh, support at glengineering.co and we'll be happy to help you.